welcome back to my diecast addiction today we're going to be doing a mail call and a few unboxings well technically it's all mail but we got a package that came to us today from a very special friend of ours it just arrived i just found out the other day that it was coming to my house so we're going to open this in a minute but this will be a long video, so we'll save this one for last. As most of you know by now, I was pretty sick for a while. Seems to be going around. And now with this coronavirus stuff, everybody's really freaking out. But during my time uh, at home, I had enough time to go on Evil Bay and pick up a few cars that I wanted. So I kind of went a little overboard, but this is just uh, the first batch that's arrived so far. So we'll get into it here. So we got this one from Ohio, straight out of Cincinnati. Let's take a look here. I always find it interesting the different ways that people wrap their uh, items. So we have the 1969 Boss 302 Mustang from Fast and Furious. Awesome, awesome piece. Let's see if we can get a better look at it here. It's an awesome casting. Metal bottom, that's always nice. Real riders. As you can see the uh, set that it comes with, or from. Let's put that one there. Alrighty. On to the next one. This one is from Kentwood, Michigan. See, it, it, it makes me laugh. You got the peanuts on the side, the air bubble on the top. Nothing protecting the bottom. And this one is the 70 Charger. Also a Fast and Furious die cast. This is the off-road one. Looks like a plastic bottom. Nice little detail with the back tires there. Pretty cool one. Let's set that aside. And let's see this one here from Pisgah Forest, North Carolina. I don't know if I pronounced that right or if I just butchered that, but uh, NC in the house here. Oh, behave yourself. take a look here and here we have a 70 RT if you haven't noticed the theme yet also fast and furious this would be I guess the first uh, movie by the looks of the car let's set that one there and let's see what's next here. Tulsa, Oklahoma. Let's see, where is the... All right, we'll just cut it there. And there you have the Subaru WRX STI. Need a little better lighting here. Well, that's a cool Fast and Furious one. And next up, let's see here. This was 
actually two that I bought from the same seller. Uh, Tahoma, Tennessee. So here we go. We got Tennessee in the house. Let's uh, side cut this one. I'm glad they put it in a plastic bag, but it's not raining here at all right now. Let's see here. Ah, here we have Knight Rider, the Super Pursuit Mode. Now that is a cool one. Now that didn't, that had nothing to do with Knight Rider, just or I mean Fast and Furious. The same seller that I bought the other car from just happened to have this one, and I was missing it. So we have that one. But we have the coveted and hard to get. S15. Hans Sylvia from the movie Tokyo Drift. It's pretty nice. Has the real riders on it. Looks like a plastic bottom. But it feels kind of heavy, so it might just be a painted metal bottom. We'll have to find that out later. Set that one aside. Hate. I hate these peanuts. Always a mess. Let's get this other one open. This one is the Buick Grand National. I believe that was from the fourth movie. Pretty nice. Doesn't have real riders on it. Looks like a plastic bottom. For some reason, there's a dividing line here in the fender. Kind of indicates that maybe the, uh, the front end comes in pieces. Looks like the hood would open. Although the looks like the blister wanted to come apart there. And what else? What else? We have the Monte Carlo from Tokyo Drift. Pretty cool detail on it. Again, plastic wheels. Looks like plastic bottom. The card's really nice. You would expect that to be a real rider. And let's see here, what else? Oh, there were two that I had opened previous before this video and kind of got mad at myself for not filming it, but I also picked this one up. The Super from the second movie. Plastic wheels, plastic bottom. Let's put that one there. And also we picked up the flip car. From movie number six, which is actually a pretty cool car. I would have never thought they made this as a high wheel, but there you have it. Definitely worth having. And what else? One last box here. Uh -huh. After checking all my tracking, I'm pretty sure I know which one this is. This one came out of Kansas. Oh, I'm sorry, the uh, Tennessee. The last ones were Tennessee. This one came from Overland Park, Kansas. Interesting. Got this one from Wheel Collectors. Let's see what kind of uh, packaging we get from wheel collectors. All right. Let me 
sure wanted to make sure they didn't get wet, let me tell you. Must be raining in their part of the country right now. Okay. Getting a little crowded here. But we have the Nissan Skyline from Fast Five. Plastic wheels, plastic bottom. I think I have a set of wheels that'll match, that'll go with that. Make it look a little better. We have Suki's Honda S2000. Although I do recall her car being a convertible. Since uh, S2000s all came convertible. Don't recall that wing on it though. That was from the Tokyo Drift movie. Or no, the that was from the second movie, my bad. And we have another one from Fast Five is Brian's GTR. Again, plastic wheels, plastic bottom. And we have the Fate of the Furious, Roman's uh, Lamborghini. Plastic wheels, plastic bottom. It's a pretty cool car. Let's see, there's two more items in the box. And from the Fate of the Furious, we have Dom's Gray Chevelle. Which I actually have this one in one of the five packs that was released recently. And I gotta say, the one in the five pack looks a little more like the car in the movie. I don't know why they put a gloss on this. Because it was a matte paint job that he put on it. Is. But again, plastic wheels, plastic bottom. And last but not least. At least I have enough bags to throw away all this trash now. Ooh, and one of them goes flying. The Ford GT, also from Fast Five. And I've been looking online, but can't understand for the life of me why they didn't have the Pantera also. They had the Corvette, they had the GT40. Haven't seen the Pantera. All right. So there's our collection of Fast and Furious. And I decided to buy these because I... I am a fan of the movies. I have all of them. Uh, except for the Hobbs and Shaw one. It's a stupid spinoff. It should have never been done. But, uh, yeah, I like these cars. And I hope to collect all the Fast and Furious that was ever made by Hot Wheels. We'll see how far I can get. And uh, I have a few more packages still on the way. So I'll do another video when those come in. For now, I'm going to get these put aside here. And get to the main event. Could you tell I was bored while I was sick? <laughs> I wasn't really feeling like doing a whole lot. And with the migraines and stuff, it just kept me from working on my cars. But didn't keep me off my phone. So here we have our main event. This was a package a friend of mine sent me when he learned that I was messing around with diecast now. This, I believe, was his collection. Now let's see what we have. That's a lot of cars. <laughs> Holy crap. Let's get this bag out. Are you kidding me? I almost bought this one on eBay the other day. That's funny. I really almost picked that one up. Oh, man, I'm glad I didn't. Because <laughs> now I have it. Majorette Pontiac. That's a cool one. Here, let's get this aside. And here we have uh, some sort of transport matchbox. What do they call it? Transporter vehicle. Duh. Very good. That's a cool one. 
what else we have? So we have a tow truck here. Looks like a COE. Some Hot Wheels. Pretty cool. I like that. That can go over here at the shop. You set it up over there. And let's see what's next. So we got a 70s Corvette here. Corvette Stingray. Metal bottom. Has the old uh, black walls, but gold rims. I always like to see the ones that have gold rims like that. You don't see them often. I'll be damned that thing still rides good. Look at that. Suspension's still great. <laughs> That's awesome. And what do we have here? Oh, a Hot Wheels Rail Rotter. Now this is rare. I, I haven't seen one of these in, oh, I don't know how long. That's awesome. Awesome, awesome. Let's get that one set up there. And we have a Nomad. Looks like maybe a 56. Yeah, this remind the bottom of this reminds me of the little sidestep Chevy I did. So it must just be a, a China toy. Let's get that one set there. Ooh, school bus. Flying fin Finizas? Finiza? Whatever. I can't pronounce that. That's pretty cool, though. Hot Wheels Sideshow. Awesome. Maybe we can turn that into the Partridge uh, bus. <laughs> oh, that's sweet right there. I love the, the semis and stuff. Let's see here. So it is a Hot Wheels. Plastic bottom. That's going to be a cool one. Find something to put on the back there. And we have a uh, broken off bumper, but who cares? And just make a bumper. And we got a tank here. This one is a matchbox. Doesn't have a name, but has a moving turret. That's pretty cool. And we can put that on the back of the transport. <laughs> Let's see what else. So, 57. And this is a Hot Wheels, all right. 1993. It's kind of odd for a Hot Wheels. I don't remember these wheels. It's pretty plain, no detail down the side. Smoothed out. I like it. Oh, yeah. We're going to make something out of that. Let me tell you. And what else? Oh, yeah. This is my favorite, favorite Porsche. I love the slant nose. Awesome. 930 slant. Also Malaysia. Metal body. Metal bottom. Awesome, awesome. I'm going to use the word awesome a lot, guys, because this... That's actually... Well, my go-to words, so don't don't pay attention to me repeating myself there. So we have a Camaro Z28 gold wheels, black walled. Matches with the Corvette, about the same era. That's pretty cool. And we have another uh, Bel Air here. This looks like a 55. Plastic bottom. This is the old plastic bottoms. Looks like it needs a little help, but that's all right. We can get that one squared away. And here we have what looks like a 32. 32 Ford. It is a Hot Wheels. That's pretty cool. I like that. It's the one thing I, I never understand about Hot Wheels. I mean, this isn't exactly a fantasy Hot Wheels. So why is the scale so different? Drives me crazy sometimes. Ooh, here we go. 
We have a red line T-bird, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get that one up close. Oh, uh, yeah. Beautiful 1968. You gotta love it. Got the opening hood there. Looks like somebody had a lot of fun with this. It's pretty wore out. I'm gonna love to restore this one. That's gonna be fun. What else have we got in here? Oh, so we got a double motor here. Oh, I can't remember the name of this one. What was it? Way too fast. <laughs> yeah, you can guess why it's way too fast. Looks like another 32, maybe Tudor. That's a cool one. I'd like to see this one in a Spectra Flame with some red lines. And what do we have here? An F1 car. Or actually Indy car, right? Hot Wheels. Very nice. Still rolls pretty good. And what else? What else? What else? Ah, oh, we have a boat. A hydro boat. Hot Wheels hydro boat with twin motors there. H2 Go. Yeah, I bet it goes. That's cool. I think I want to seal this up and see if we can make it uh, watertight. Get this sucker to float. What else? What else? Ooh-wee. Now, you know I love me a 510. Hey, these things are so cool. They're like go-karts in real life. <laughs> it is a Bluebird 510 from Hot Wheels. Very nice, very nice. I got about 10 different ways I could build that one. Uh, and we have another T-Bird here, black wall. This looks like a 57. Plastic bottom, 1977 casting. That's an old school. Still rolling pretty decent there. I'll set that up with the other T-Bird. And, oh, yes. Now we're talking, look at that. I just broke the damn hood. That's all right. We'll fix that. Opening hood. That's a cool van. I love those old 70 vans. I think we'll take the the mud tires off of this. And uh, kind of make it old 70s, you know. Paint job. Side pipes. Shag carpeting. <laughs> you got to love those. And what do we have here? Oh, yes. I remember this one. Oh, what was this thing called? I forget. XT3. That's right. Got an XT3 in orange. Now, this one I'll probably just clean up and leave alone because I do like these as is. I think I had one of the white ones before in the past. And what else? What do we got here? City Park Humvee. Or this is the... Uh, H2, isn't it? Yep, H2. City Park. That's going to be pretty cool. We can do some wild stuff with these. Maybe we'll do a uh, suspension, a working suspension on this one. Let's put that over there. I've been seeing this one in the corner of the bag the whole time. Old Viper. You got to love these cars. They were creative. Very cool. And for those who didn't know, Shelby had something to do with the design of this one. Maisto. Got a Maisto. And it just had to have the Shelby colors on it, right? Ah, <laughs> uh, here we go. Gotta love these Kenworths. It's got a pretty big sleeper on there. This reminds me almost of the Knight Rider truck. I think that was a Mac, though. It's uh, made in China here. The no brands. That's gonna be a cool build. And we have an F-150. All right. I love Ford, so this will work out just fine. 97 F-150. Pretty cool, pretty cool. And this one, what do we have here? Reminds me of the old Fusa Hemisphere. 
Let's see. Hot Wheels China doesn't have a name. Well, whatever it is, if you guys know what it is, put it in the comments. But that's a cool ride right there. I like the shape of the silhouette. Too bad they don't make cars like this in real life. That would be an awesome ride. Alright, so we have another uh, cab over here. This one's another China car. Pretty cool. See, it's got the hole for the hitch there. We can find ourselves a trailer or just make one. That'll be an awesome one. And let's see. Uh, Dodge Caravan, I'm guessing. That'd be kind of cool. The soccer mom van, literally. <laughs> and we got another cab over here. It's a little bent, but hey, that's what it's all about, you know. Fix them, make them look good. I want to see one of these with some red lines on it. I think it'll be an awesome little uh, truck once we, once we put one, you know, set of those on our. And we got a micro machine here. I remember these. That's pretty cool. Got some big wheels on a little car. <laughs> Let's set that one in the truck there. All right, so it looks like we have a uh, industrial forklift here. It just says fork. All right, made in China. That's going to be cool. Ah, and we have another hydro boat. These things are just so cool. And it is a Hot Wheels hydroplane. Stamped logo right there. We'll put these in here. And last but not least, let's see what's in this. The Spine Buster. Ah, it came in the old Happy Meals. Spine Buster, Spine Buster. Looks like it had a set of decals there to put on. Almost looks like a hydro boat. I don't know how well you guys can see that. I think I'm just going to leave it in the package for now. I don't want to rip that open yet. But That's pretty cool. It's an old collector's piece there. So thank you, Steve. I appreciate you sending me all these uh, fun toys that we're going to have a blast messing with. One way or another, they're going to be all customized. And that's it for our video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'm looking forward to doing the next round of video when the rest of my packages get here. Till then, we're going to keep it cool and I'll say goodbye and see you guys next time.